Hey there, what's up my fellow gamers? It's your host Condor Lobby and today I am back with another video that you have all been requesting for. In my previous videos, I have talked about different ways you can modify and use Natural Vision Evolved without ENB. But many of you have been asking me if there is a way to add ENB to the latest version of Natural Vision Evolved and I have got the answer for you. Now, before we get started, I just want to clarify that I won't be applying all the ENB effects that Natural Vision Evolved previously provided, but only the ones that are available by default in ENB. Of course, if you guys want me to dive into specific shaders and try adding additional effects, just let me know in the comments below. Once I make the time cycle videos, you can understand the effects without adding ENB. I apologize that it's taking a bit longer than expected, but trust me, it's going to be worth the wait. Alright, enough talk, let's get started. First, head over to the ENB website and download the latest version of ENB series for GTA 5. You can see the version here, I have provided the exact link for you to download. Once you have downloaded the files, you will get a zip file. Extract the zip file and you will find a folder called wrapper. Cut all the files from here except d3d11.dll, d3d compiler underscore 46e.dll, enb local.ini, enb series.ini and paste them into the enb series folder. Next, download the sq.zip file that you can find in the discord link in the description. Once you have downloaded it, unzip the sq file and you will find a folder similar to this that I have here. It will have four files here. First, copy the enb series.ini file and the enb local.ini file. Now, before you go and start that, I would want you to also copy the additional files if you want a different look. So they are basically ENB lens.fx shader file and a PNG file that I have given as texture. You can copy these two files and paste them into the ENB series folder. I have modified the ENB lens shader file to create a different lens effect than the vanilla version in ENB. You can keep the vanilla files and get the look that I have shown during the start of this video. But if you replace my PNG texture, your look will change entirely and you will get an effect similar to what you can see in this section of the video. You can change the values based on your taste and get a rounded effect. You can change them from within the ENB window by pressing shift plus enter. So there you have it guys. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you want me to cover some additional shaders or effects that I haven't covered in this video, just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with your friends so that others can also benefit from it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Until then, bye.